nothing in that Quran shows you how he's merciful and compassionate. In fact, he's putting you under this performance basic system. You got to pray five times toward the east there, there in Mecca and all these other things. Washing your feet and do all these religious things. There's nothing merciful and compassionate. He tells you if you don't do those things, he's going to condemn you. Well, the Lord Jesus Christ, through the message of Paul, uh, the Apostle Paul preached the grace message. He's merciful and compassionate. He died for your sins. There's a huge difference. That's the grace message. So to bind again. Remember when Paul tells us in Ephesians, uh, excuse me, to Philippians to rejoice in the Lord. And again, I say rejoice. What Paul is saying is you here's the joy to joy again. That's what he's saying. Joy again. When you find yourself worried about the, the world and what's going on and, 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 and forgetting the doctrine, the sound doctrine Paul gives you to whatsoever things are true and lovely and good report, think of those things. Paul just tells you, rejoice in who you are in Christ. Rejoice. Joy again in the Lord. Well, that's religion to bind yourself back. Verse 50. But the Jews stirred up the devout and honorable women and the chief men of the city and raised persecution against Paul and Barnabas and expelled them out of their cult. When it has to do with the devout, in the scriptures, devout means religious and pious people. Uh, particularly, these women were part of the Jewish synagogue. When, when, when the Jewish synagogue means assembled uh, together. These were women who were in the synagogues there, okay? Uh, they were, when it says the devout women, they were pious, religious women. You see that in our day, you know, the Muslims go out there and they be at the airport. Brother Richard Jordan, who travels to Detroit to film that, that uh, television show, uh, Unforgotten Truths, and he tells me where Mo the Muslims, Detroit has a one, they have a, one of the, the largest populations of, of Muslims in America. And he says he'll be in that, he goes every couple of weeks and he's in that uh, airport there in Detroit. And the guys will just pull a little rug out right there in the tarmac and, you know, do their thing. Or not in the tarmac, where, where you sit. And he says they look nice and religious and pious. But when Brother Jordan starts talking to them about their, their religiosity, he gives them the truth of God's grace. And they just look at him because they, they do that to be seen of men. That's what it is, pious. Well... And, and honorable women, these, these women with honor, these are women who had some prestige in the, in the community. They were distinguished amongst uh, the, the community there, okay? Verse 50, and the chief men of the city, these were prominent men, rich men, famous men. I think when it says chief men in my own study, they were like politicians, officers. They would be like our, our, um, our, our councilmen and, and aldermen, and aldermen in Chicago, they had councilmen here, I guess. They would be like the, politi the politicians. These were the chief men of the city, the ones who ruled over the city. Okay? And what you see is that Satan is now going to, through the Jews, stir up, first of all, he says, the women. You know, over there in, in, um, in 1 Timothy, no, 2 Timothy, Paul says, uh, I, got, I got one of the Timothys, I got to remember this. He says that these men who don't rightly divide the scriptures, they creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with diverse lusts. They go and do the same thing Satan did. He had Adam there. He had Eve. He chose to deal with Eve because of her, uh, uh, because of her, her emotions, her gentleness, her weaker, uh, being the weaker vessel. The Lord says about the, the Pharisees of his day, they devour widows' houses, telling these women, God will bless you if you just give me the money. Well, that's what's going on here. Satan is, is putting religious pressure on these women. Instead of allowing them to hear God's word through Paul and to believe it, like the soft-hearted woman, he put that, that uh, religious pressure. By the way, he put political pressure. Those are the two things that, that uh, Satan uses. We are not ignorant of his devices. He used religion. I'm writing this with my right hand. Sorry about that. So it might be a little sloppy. And politics. Now, watch this. Religion and politics are different than uh, uh, politics is government. G God has ordained government and uh, faith. I'd say faith. People say, what religion are you? I say, well, I'm, I'm of the Christian faith. I have a relationship, not religion. God designed faith to be an issue. God designed government to be an issue. 
Men has taken it to religion and politics. Politics is just wind socking, whatever your constituents want, you're just going that way. We know our politicians, they don't, they don't really care about righteousness, it's whatever the, the uh, majority wants. They wait to see what, what, what the people want, then they do that. Well see, that's, God didn't expect that, except the religion that God gave Israel. He's gonna give them a pure religion and the law in their hearts. And politics, no. Government, yes, a righteous government, and faith in Christ. Well, Satan uses these two things. He did it with, with the Lord. When the Lord Jesus Christ was killed, it was the Jew, the Jewish leaders who killed him, the religious leaders. And it was the Roman government. Um, particularly Pontius Pilate, he had the power. He saw, he saw that the Lord was just man. He washed his hands of him, but he had the power to stop it. And because of political pressure... He let it happen. And so it's going to be that way in our life. The two things that's going to mess with us as grace believers is religious legalist and governmental pressures. You know that? Or excuse me, religion and politics. What kicked us out of the old place down the street there in Owasso? Politics. Gave us 30 days to get out of there. That's not enough time to have somebody find a, a place to, to fellowship. They put political pressure, and they will continue. Those two things are going to work together. It worked on, on the Lord. It worked on Paul. So be aware of that. Um, look at verse 50. But the Jews stirred up the devout and honorable women and the chief men of the city and raised, look at that, persecution. Religious legalists will persecute us. Satan energizes them. That's the one extreme religion. And then the other extreme is the basis of men, lost people who don't like to hear God's word, in, who got political clout. He'll use both of them. And we're going to see it all the way through the book of Acts as well, okay? So that's the chief men, the politician. Ver, uh, look at the next verse, uh, excuse me, verse 50 at the end. They raised persecution against Paul and Barnabas, God's apostles to them. Paul, the apostle. Barnabas was another sent one. Barnabas, by the way, was still part of the kingdom program. Remember I showed you that a lot of those kingdom saints who believed on the Lord Jesus before Paul, when God changed their program, they were still active in getting God's word out. Different, different word, the word of God's grace. But what else are they going to do? Their program is on hold. They're still alive. God just don't want them to just sit there. He's, he's going to use a lot of them to help the apostle Paul get the word out. And by the way, Paul and Barnabas, I believe, were related. Okay. Um, maybe brother-in-law, he says, sister son to Barnabas. Paul's sister son, uh, Marcus, was probably Barnabas' uh, son, okay? You will see some of that later. My point is, Barnabas was also sent to help the Apostle Paul early in his ministry. We do know later that God separated Barnabas from, from Saul, from Paul, so that the Apostle Paul's ministry can increase and Barnabas can go Back to where the kingdom program, the diminishing, okay? Well, anyway, let's keep reading. And expel them, verse 50, out of their coast. 